Good afternoon, everyone. John, Lynn, Chris. Bye. Good afternoon. We're going to talk about anti-fracking updates in Youngstown and Mahoning County. Okay. Lynn, go. What we have going on now is we have an injection well getting readied for injection. It's right next to the Purple Cat on Route 422. Um, it's owned by Bobcat Energy of Canfield, it seems now. It has been sold. And it looks like they have plugged the well back to a higher elevation and they're going to start injecting or else they already have started. There's plenty of tanks that have been built there. The ongoing frack tanker cleaning stations, you know, those uh, border our city. Um, two of the more well-known are Iron Eagle on Amherst and Liberty. And they're cleaning frack tankers out in the open air there. Um, over on Oakwood, the end of Oakwood, just west of Meridian in Austin Town. That's Everclear. They clean them there. We don't know what the activity is going on at 240 Center Court. It looks like they're going great guns, but we haven't seen the roll-offs that we always would see going to the Poland landfill of the dissolved solids, radioactive um, materials from the Marcellus. They downblend it in the open air, put it in dirt, and truck it to the landfill. Now that's the radioactive processing plant. Right. That was given um, a go-ahead with Chief's orders uh, from ODNR, I think it was back in 2013 or so, and we all went into the mayor's office and we begged them to shut it down. They said this is not a problem. Uh, it's a go ahead. Um, right up the street from that is the closed DNL injection well that caused our 4.0 earthquake in uh, 2011. It's very worrisome. What is going on on that property? Mm -hmm. It looks like the Rocky Mountains. It looks like they're bringing in drill cuttings and uh, dumping them, but we have no way of knowing what's going on. And the state law situation is quite dismal because they just passed a state budget uh, it's 2,600 pages, and it's a giveaway to all the big polluting businesses. There's tons of stuff tacked on to give presents out to all of DeWine's uh, cronies. And um, one of the things they managed to do is write into the state budget that you cannot grant rights to a natural ecosystem. You cannot, in Ohio, give rights to nature. And what that is, is a direct slap in the face to the Lake Erie Bill of Rights that passed this past year to protect Lake Erie and protect everybody's water source. There's a ton of people that get their water from Lake Erie. And they passed the Lake Erie Bill of Rights declaring that yes, Lake Erie is a natural entity that deserves protection. Well, in Ohio now, they're saying you can never, ever do that. So this harkens back to when they took all the Community Bill of Rights off the ballot in all the communities like Medina and Athens and Youngstown, and they kept taking them off the ballot illegally. Then Kasich signed into law HB 463, and that gave them a tool to yet again take them off the ballot and this, it said that any local board of election can take any citizen ballot initiative off the ballot, even though you qualified it with enough signatures by, from all your voters. It's a direct violation of Ohio constitutional law. Well, Youngstown sued and we won in the Ohio Supreme Court. Yes, indeed, it was a violation. And yes, you can put these on the ballot. But CELDEF has taken it one step further because all of these other communities did not sue and get heard in the Ohio Supreme Court. So there is a federal court case the Community Environmental Legal Defense Fund filed. So we're waiting to be heard by the U.S. Supreme Court. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So it sounded like um, Governor DeWine didn't waste any time going back and paying off some of the people that helped him get elected. I wonder if I can just ask Lynn another question. Um, just again to tie this all together, 
She mentioned this new injection well that's going up on Route 422. That's out in um, Coitsville, um, Youngstown. And we had a, an accident there not too long ago. And I wonder if you can just kind of give the listeners maybe an idea of what happened at that accident. Oh, that was uh, June 24 of 2016. Three years ago. Yeah, now. it yeah. was. Um, that was actually when they told everybody. They even went on the news. They, well, they, of course, they even went on the news. They told everyone that they were plugging the well. Mm -hmm. Now, to the lay person, that means it's going to be shut down. They're that's plugging what, the that's well. That's what I would be, think it would mean. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And what happened was um, they were plugging back the well to a higher elevation because injecting down into the um, Precambrian, that's what caused the earthquake at the DNL injection well, the uh, millions of, well not millions, but 566 earthquakes, and including that 4.0. Uh, so they didn't want to call, you know, stimulate a fault line, so they plugged it back 500 feet with concrete and all of this brown stuff was gushing up out of the well and just, you know. Like a volcano. Yeah, and coming into the ground and draining into the pond at Purple Cat. And we have no idea, was there fracking <coughs> fluid? What, what was this, mm -hmm. you know, we don't know. But now they're readying it for injection which is really a sad time for us, you know. We, we've told them that these things aren't safe, you know. We've said that time and time again, and this is their answer, you know. Let's just give them more of the same bad, awful thing that we've got already. And just to review those points, why exactly aren't they safe? Why aren't they safe? Yeah. Well... <laughs> I think Lynn is probably more qualified to answer yeah, know, that than, than I do. Well, well, I'll get you both. Yeah, the spills, we'll kind of tag team on it. The but spills, it always ha seemed to happen. The leaks, the earthquakes, you yeah, know, there's plenty yeah. of, you know, reasons. And there's safe. been, I think, so little study into the long-term effects of what's going on with fracking. That's what really terrifies me. But now we can ever. actually point to health issues, too. We can point to oh, health issues. Oh, they have issues. some recent studies. Did you see the latest one about the kids the, um, that are... You know, having all kinds of health problems. Like birth when defects? Or well, that was an, an older study. That they yeah. have really low birth weight uh, children around who were exposed well, to a mile away, you mm -hmm. know. And then now it's the ones that are um, being exposed. Yeah, they're these. Um, I wish I could remember the study that I just saw. Yeah. But you can look it up. Um, physicians, scientists, and engineers for healthy energy, that mm -hmm. site. I think they're okay. posting all the peer-reviewed studies there. We can't even keep up with them because now all the stuff is coming out. Yeah, and we've had so many wells that have been drilled, you know, and we know that like states like Oklahoma, you know, they, they have regular earthquakes all the time and to just live in a state like that where you're just so insecure about your living situation from day to day just makes me absolutely sick to my stomach. You know, and we never asked for this kind of thing either. Nobody asked to have fracking in Youngstown, Ohio. Nobody got my permission. We didn't vote on it to happen. You know, so it just makes me extremely angry to find out that our lives have to be disrupted with all these question marks. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? And the thing that I think makes it even worse is that we have clean energy available to us. We have wind power. We've got solar energy that we can start using. We have the technology. We've got people that want this. But it's all thumbs down when it comes to big oil and gas. Right. They're squelching it, right, Tom? They're squelching it. <laughs> They're big money. Big money. <laughs> yes, that's the, that's the answer. It's the same, 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 same. Not only locally, statewide, federal. There's any time there's a giveaway for the corporations, there is no debate, nothing. It just passes through, zooms mm -hmm. right through. But then let's pay for it now. Let's cut senior citizen benefits. Let's cut veterans benefits. Let's cut social security. Let's cut what education. SNAP program, that was one of the new ones. SNAP program is being cut. Mm -hmm. And yeah. 
Go ahead, I'm sorry. And there's no debate there either. We'll just do it. <laughs> I think we ought to get a, um, a lobby group together that's just poor people. Poor People's <laughs> Lobby Group. That's oh, a yeah. great idea. Oh, yeah, that would be wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Guys, i got to cut this one off. We'll pick up this conversation anyway. in the next video. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.